let's find out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons are present. When you have uh, this uh, notation or nomenclature where you have the symbol and then you have the atomic number in subscript and the mass number in superscript to the left, this here is going to tell us the the atomic number tells us the number of protons, which are the positively charged subatomic particles. The mass tells us the number of protons and the number of neutrons, all right, which don't have a charge. That's, that's the nucleus, by the way. All right, so let's do uranium. They didn't have to give us the atomic uh, number because we can get that from the periodic table if they give us a symbol. All right, so let's do that. Yeah. You know, let me get this out of the way. There we go. All right. Uranium is going to have 92 protons. That's what the atomic number tells us. Now the mass number minus the atomic number will give us the number of neutrons because it's the protons and neutrons that give us the the uh, mass number. All right, so that's 3, 13 minus 9 is 4, borrow on there, and that's 143. So you can add these up, and you'll get the mass number. Now, these are all assumed to be neutral. That's what it said in the problem. So the number of electrons and the number of protons are going to equal each other. That way, the positives and the negatives cancel out. And that way, you're left with a neutral atom. All right, let's go to B, aluminum. Let's move it up faster now. All right, aluminum's got 13 protons. It always has 13 protons. That's what makes it aluminum. That's the atomic uh, number. And this one's going to have 14 neutrons. 13 plus 14 will give you the mass of 27, which is the number at the top. And again, because this is electrically neutral, the positives and negatives must balance out, so we put 13 protons, we have to have 13 electrons. All right, iron. Oh, how do you screen? Let's go this way. Iron always has 26 protons. And this, uh, this one has a mass of 57. So that is one, 31 neutrons, 24 electrons. All right, let's move on to D. Lead is always going to have 82 protons. This one is uh, 208. Minus 2 is 6. 20 minus 8 is 12. 126 neutrons. Neutrons plus protons will give you the mass. All right, this one is also going to have uh, 82 electrons. All right, let's uh, copy this here. Down here. All right, rubidium. 37 protons. 86 minus 37. It's uh, 9, so 49 neutrons. And 37 electrons. And finally, calcium, 20 protons, 20 electrons, and 21 neutrons.